What's going on everybody? Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my first impressions of the Cricut Ovation 3. Now before we go any further, as always, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to learn more about this phone, I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. Now before we take a look at the phone itself, let's take a quick look at what comes in the box. So as you can see, I have pretty much everything out here already, but in the actual box itself, we got a SIM card removal tool right here. As you can see, it's kind of taped on there. Then we got our quick start guide and safety information, a charging cable, and a wall adapter. So as far as that goes, that's pretty much it. Now moving on to the phone itself, with the Cricut Ovation 3, we're getting a really large 6.82 inch IPS LCD display with a 720p resolution, a PPI of 246, and an aspect ratio of 20 and a half by nine. So for a really entry level phone, we are getting a pretty good display here. Despite only having a 720p resolution, the image does still look decently sharp and the colors are definitely nice and bright. And at 6.82 inches, this is definitely a larger display. So if you're gonna be on your phone a lot, this is definitely gonna be a good thing. And with the 20 and a half by nine aspect ratio, we are getting a slightly taller and more narrow form factor than usual. So if you're doing something like watching a video in landscape mode, for example, you're gonna get a more immersive experience. And when you're doing things like browsing the web, using social media, stuff like that, you'll be able to fit more content on the screen without having to scroll as much. So on one hand, compared to a mid-range phone that's gonna have something like a 1080p resolution and probably better image quality in general, sure, this phone is not gonna be that good. But for a phone in this price range, remember, this phone goes for around $120 and probably much less in the future. So for such an affordable device, I definitely do think we are getting a good display here. Now despite having a really impressive display, the storage is kind of a different story. With this phone, we're only getting 32 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion. And while on one hand, for really entry level phones like this, that is pretty normal. 32 gigabytes is really not going to be enough for hardly anyone. Even if you're really not doing a whole lot with your phone, in this day and age, this kind of storage is really going to fill up fast. So if you're planning on having any decent amount of apps, then you're probably going to want to get something with more storage. That being said though, if you're really using your phone for the bare minimum, and maybe you only really use three apps on your phone or something like that, then I I imagine it will at least be okay. And again, at least this phone does have micro SD card expansion. So if you have a lot of photos and videos and stuff like that, this will come in handy. For security features, this phone does have both a fingerprint scanner and face unlock. So definitely nice to have both options here. The fingerprint scanner is right here on the back. So let's go ahead and give it a try. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So it did work decently well. Maybe not the best fingerprint scanner I've ever used, but it does at least get the job done. And again, this phone does have face unlock too. So if you want to use that instead, you always can. Now for the camera setup here, for what it is, this phone actually has some pretty impressive features. Up front here, we got a water drop notch for the front facing camera. This camera is eight megapixels. Then on the back, we got a triple camera setup with a 13 megapixel main camera, a five megapixel ultra wide camera, and a two megapixel macro camera. So as far as the actual features go, this phone has pretty much everything, including an ultra wide camera and a macro camera. And for a phone in this price range that's really only around $100, that's definitely not something you see every day. In fact, compared to something like the Cricut Icon 4, which is really barely less than this phone, the Icon 4 only has one single camera, so pretty much no features at all. Whereas again, the Cricut Ovation 3 has pretty much everything. So if you are going to be taking a decent amount of photos, but you still want a more affordable entry-level device, then this phone is going to be a pretty good choice. Now as far as the photo quality goes, seeing as this is a first impressions video, I haven't actually used the camera yet. I mean, for that matter, I haven't even taken the covers off yet. So I don't know exactly how it's gonna be, but in general, I imagine it's at least gonna be decent. I mean, while on one hand, Cricut branded phones aren't exactly known for their photo quality, in my experience, they're at least decent. So if you wanna take some nice photos here and there, but you don't need the absolute best quality in the world, then I would say in general, this phone will probably get the job done just fine. Now, as far as RAM and processor go, with the Cricut Ovation 3, we're getting three gigabytes of RAM with the MediaTek Helio A25 processor. In general, as far as overall performance goes, I haven't really done a whole lot on this phone yet, but in my experience, I haven't had any performance issues. And in fact, compared to a lot of other really low-end phones, I would say it's actually decently fast. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're doing stuff like high-performance mobile gaming, or you're just going to be on your phone all day, then keep in mind this phone's not really meant for that kind of thing. And if you are really a heavy user, you're probably going to want to get something a little bit faster, but for more moderate use and more basic activities like web browsing, social media, stuff like that, in general, for what it is, the Cricut Ovation 3 will get the job done just fine. Now, I did run a benchmark test on this phone using Geekbench 5, and here are the scores I got. What I recommend doing is running this test on your current phone and comparing your results to these and that's going to give you a better idea of whether or not this phone will be an upgrade for you. In general though, again, when it comes to really low-end entry-level phones, it's a bit on the higher end, and there are lots of phones that are much slower, but at the same time,
same time, if you compare it to more of a mid-range phone, it's still not really that fast. So if you are looking for a phone for more basic activities and you want decently acceptable performance, but you don't need a really fast phone or anything like that, then again, I would say in that case, the Cricut Ovation 3 will at least get the job done. Now the Cricut Ovation 3 has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery that supports 10 watt fast charging. So on one hand, not the best battery in the world, but that being said, it's definitely not a small battery. So if you're looking for a phone with decent battery life, but you don't really need it to last multiple days or anything, then the battery we're getting here will at least get the job done. But that being said, keep in mind, if you're really after a phone with an amazing battery, in this particular price range, you could probably spend a little bit more, or maybe even the same depending on the deals, and get a phone like the Motorola Moto G Power, for example, that has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery instead. Another thing I do want to point out here is that with the Cricut Ovation 3, we're not getting wireless charging. Definitely not something I expected, but all the same, for some reason the Cricut Dream 5G, which they're still somehow selling, does actually have wireless charging. So if you do want a really cheap phone that has that feature, then you might want to look into that phone instead. When it comes to software, the Cricut Ovation 3 does have Android 12, which is definitely nice to see. Sure, it's not Android 13, but at this point at the end of 2022, not every phone even has Android 13 yet. And although a phone like this is probably not going to be getting any major updates, at least we are getting a software that's decently newer. Another cool thing about this phone though, is that the Cricut Ovation 3 actually does have NFC. So if you like to make contactless mobile payments using tap and pay, you actually will be able to do that with this phone. Definitely great to see that more affordable phones like this are starting to get NFC because in previous years, in fact, even last year for that matter, that feature was mostly limited to mid-range and higher end phones. But in conclusion, my overall impressions of the Cricut Ovation 3. In general, this phone doesn't really have any particularly impressive features, aside from the NFC that is. But for a more entry-level phone, I do really like the display. The performance is decent. The camera setup is really nice. And honestly, the only thing I really don't like about it is the storage. Really, in this day and age, at the end of 2022, going into 2023, I really think 32 gigabytes is not enough storage for pretty much any phone. So hopefully throughout the next year, we'll start to see more phones in this price range that have at least 64 gigabytes instead. But honestly, other other than that, if you're looking for a more basic device that has a decent display, a good camera, and decent performance for more light use, then I do think the Cricut Ovation 3 will be a pretty good option. Now once again, if you want to learn more about this phone, I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description as they come out, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.